And welcome into another week of distance learning. It is the Scouters Mountain Morning Messages. It is Monday, October 26, 2020. Can you believe it, kids, families? The last week of October coming up right now. By the end of this week, it will be November when we come back one week from today. We're in the last week of October. You're doing such a great job with all the distance learning and logging on each day. I'm so proud of each one of you. Thanks for tuning in to the morning messages as we start another week of distance learning right here on October 26th. So, Mr. Long, what do we need to know today? Well, let me tell you what you need to know. As I just said, October, believe it or not, almost over. This Friday is October 30th, and that it will be our next Friday Howl Virtual Assembly. We do those at the end of every month. That means we'll be handing out Mountain Dew Awards. We'll be recognizing birthdays. We'll do some drawings for the free ice cream cones from Baskin Robbins. We'll do a little dance at the end. Now, those three times are depending on what grade you're in. So K-1, you come to the assembly at 1230. Second and third graders, you come at 1.15, and fourth and fifth graders come at 2 o'clock. Now, if you remember how to get into those assemblies, those are through Mr. Long's Google Classroom. So if you have access to that, that's great. I will send that out again to all families. So I'll send you the link. You would log into Mr. Long's Google Classroom. There's a Meet link right there for K1, for K423, and for 4.5. We'll get all of that figured out. We'll send it out to you. But that is on Friday. Also Friday, as we always do at the last Friday of a month, it's a special spirit day this Friday, crazy hair day. Now, I know some of you can really do some goofy things with your hair. Try not to make things too distracting, and we really don't want people using permanent hair dyes. Make sure you check with your families before you do anything permanent to your hair, any kind of special haircuts or permanent hair dyes. Just want to have fun with that. Remember, we don't want to be too distracting on screen, though. If you are too distracting and you're pointing out your hair all the time, we'll probably ask you to change your hair back to the way it's supposed to be or turn off your camera as part of distance learning. So all that coming up this week. Friday's a big day right here at Scouters Mountain. Tomorrow, Tuesday the 27th, a special fundraiser we have going with Five Guys Burgers and Fries right up here by Fred Meyer. So this flyer tells you a little bit more about that. I'll send this home again via email to all of your families. But you can go anytime between 10.30 in the morning and 10.30 at night. If you buy lunch, you buy dinner for you or your family, 15% of all everything you spend goes right back to our school. So that's very nice of Five Guys Burgers and Fries to sponsor that for us. And thanks to our PTA for organizing that. There you see the flyer right there. If you want to call in and order your uh, burgers and fries ahead of time, you can certainly do that. There's the number right there. And remember, this is the Five Guys that is right up by our school, right by Fred Meyer in that little mall right there. So there's the information that is happening tomorrow between 1030 in the morning and 1030 in the evening. 15% of all that money spent goes to our school. So that'll be nice. Great job. I know I tell you this every time, but continue logging into PE and music. And you can also find Mrs. Uh, you can also find our uh, counselor, Mrs. Bell's Google Classrooms. I almost forgot Mrs. Bell's name for a second. But you can log into PE music and Mrs. Bell's Google Classrooms. Make sure you're logging into those. Did you know that you do get a participation grade on your report card for PE and for music? So it's a good idea to log in there to Mr. Harrison's lessons and to Mrs. Carter's lessons, even now some people have said, but Mr. Long, I do a sport, I go to practice, I go outside and ride my bike, do I still need to do PE? We would still like you to do that. I know Mr. Harrison and Mrs. Carter are keeping track of who's been in there because you do get a grade on your report card. I would hate to have you get a not so great grade on your report card just because you chose not to do PE or music. You can do it the best you can, doesn't have to be perfect, but make sure that you get credit for logging in to both PE and music, those Google Classrooms that should come up in ClassLink when you log in. If you have any questions, you can always email Mr. Long. You know how to get a hold of me by now. There's the email address right there at longc at nclac.k12.or.us. Always love hearing from you. It doesn't even have to be school related. Some of you send me things over the weekend about what you're doing over the weekend. Always love hearing from you because I don't get to see you during the week in person. So it's 
so much fun to be able to connect with you, even if it's over email. Love hearing from you. Thanks for keeping me connected to all of you. We miss seeing all of you here at school for sure. It is Monday, which means we will do the Pledge of Allegiance here in the morning messages. I will adjust my computer here. If you would like to, you can follow along with me. If you'd rather not, you can fast forward the video right now. But I'm going to readjust right here. Hopefully, now I can't see my camera, so hopefully it is on me right now. Put your hand over your heart, and we will get started right now. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks to those of you who participated along with me. Always like to have you right along with me right there. If you did not participate, that's okay too. Totally up to you. And hopefully I am centered back on screen because I can't see that. Who in the world is celebrating a birthday this week? Remember last week we had a lot of kindergartners. This week we seem to have a lot of fifth graders celebrating a birthday this week. So tomorrow, Holland Schmidt, one of our newest first graders, happy birthday, Holland, who is celebrating his birthday in first grade tomorrow. Mikhail Birch from fifth grade celebrating his birthday on Wednesday. Happy early birthday, Mikhail. He Lee celebrating a birthday also on Wednesday. Happy birthday, he. Also, Jasmine from fifth grade. That's on Sunday, November 1st. So she just made it to these morning messages. So look at that, three fifth graders in a row. And then Carter Pack also on Sunday. Have a happy birthday, Carter, on Sunday. All five of you should be getting a special note here in the mail in your regular mailbox. Check your mailboxes. You should be getting a note from me that recognizes your birthday. We're very proud of you. Normally, during our Friday Howl meetings, we would recognize you in front of the whole school. This Friday, during the Friday Howl, I will be reading all of the birthdays for November, because we already did October during the last one. No, wait a minute. Did we do September last time? So I will be reading all the birthdays in October. So Jasmine and Carter, you probably won't have your birthday read this month's Friday Howl. You'll have it at the end of November. That's when yours will be read. So I'll read all the October birthdays on Friday, but normally... You would come up front during a Friday Howl Assembly. Now, because of distance learning, you get to look in your mailbox for a special prize coming your way. So look for it this week for sure. All right. Remember my last daily challenge I gave you? And I told you that Saturday was National Bologna Day. They spell it weird right there. It's spelled Bologna. That's how it's spelled for real, but it's pronounced Bologna. What is your favorite sandwich? Oh, I love a bologna sandwich. Bologna is uh, kind of a meat made from, I think, ham and turkey. They kind of mix it all together. What's your favorite sandwich? Send Mr. Long a picture or a video of you making, eating, or taking a bite of your favorite sandwich. Always love receiving your submissions for my daily challenges. They're always fun to look at. Take a look at what we got here. There is Colton from first grade. He calls that a fancy sandwich. Says that's a toasted hoagie with lettuce and honey vinegar on it. Oh, that looks pretty good. Colton enjoying his favorite sandwich from first grade. There is Kate Jansen, who always sends things in on a document for me, complete with pictures. That, to me, looks like a ham and cheese on one of my favorite kind of breads, the famous Wonder Bread type white bread. I love that stuff, and that looks like a great slice of cheese as well, one of those American slices you can get at the store. One of my favorite kind of sandwiches. Kate, if I were near you, I would have taken a big bite of that sandwich. That looks very, very tasty. I'm sure you enjoyed that. There is Lucas. He got a sandwich from Subway. Looks like turkey coming out the bottom of that one. Great idea on that. He got a foot long. Now, can Lucas in third grade, can he eat an entire foot long sub? I don't know. I'll have to check on that one to see if he actually ate the entire thing. Great job, Lucas, enjoying a turkey sandwich from Subway. There's Nikhil who says he enjoys a grilled cheese with homemade french fries. Those look like they come from a restaurant, but those are actually homemade french fries with his grilled cheese sandwich. Look at that. He's got the grill marks right on there, the lines on there. Looks pretty yummy, Nikhil. Great job to all of you. Thanks for submitting your favorite sandwich ideas. This week's challenge is going to be very similar, and I'll show you that in just a second. Let's hear it comes right now. So your new daily challenge, this will be due on Wednesday. You can send these in to me. Tomorrow, as I said, is one of our cool fundraisers with Five Guys Burgers and Fries. Even if you can't make it there, and that's totally fine if you can't make it, totally fine, send Mr. Long a picture or video of you enjoying lunch or dinner. It doesn't have to be Five Guys. It could be your favorite lunch or dinner, whatever you're having, either today or Tuesday. Send me a picture or a video of you enjoying that lunch or dinner. And remember, I told you once before about our Five Guys community event. Here's the flyer once again. You can freeze the screen if you need to, if you need more information. 
but it goes tomorrow from 10.30 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. 15% of everything you buy will be donated to our school. Thanks to our PTA for organizing that. If you want to call in ahead, you can do that. There's the phone number right there. You can call in your order ahead of time. So looking forward to seeing how many of our Scouters Mountain students and families can participate in that. If not, that's totally fine. It's just for fun. If you're able to be there, maybe you're too busy and uh, or maybe you just would rather not have burgers for lunch and or dinner. And that's totally fine. We look forward to hearing from those of you that do. There's an email if you need to get a hold of me with any questions about that. You've seen that one before. All right, time for name that Scouters Mountain Elementary staff member. This one was a fun one because there were students in this person's class who got it right away. Classroom is on the second floor. So if you're new to us, you wouldn't know that the second floor is second, third, fourth, and fifth grade. Right now, the first floor is kindergarten and first grade. And one thing I haven't mentioned to you that is new this year we actually have two preschool rooms on our first floor. They are from nearby and renting out our two, our two rooms over in the corner of the building. So when we do return to school, we don't know when that'll be for sure. You may see some three and four year olds walking around the building or using our playground. They, it's because we now have a preschool in our school on the bottom floor. So kindergarten first and preschool on the first floor. That's a new fact for you. Favorite fast food for this employee is Chipotle. That's a favorite. We've had that for many teachers before. Favorite hobbies include walking, hiking, kayaking, and board games. This teacher definitely keeps herself busy. Favorite snacks include trail mix. And here was your big hint that gave it away for most people. She is another one of our fabulous fifth grade teachers, and she splits her days with another teacher each afternoon. So one teacher teaches in the morning, one teacher teaches in the afternoon. So you really can't wear out your teacher because this classroom has two of them. Just as one teacher finishes, another one starts for the afternoon. Who was that mystery teacher? Well, of course, that's Mrs. Graham, one of our favorite fifth grade teachers. Where is Mrs. Graham? There she is there. Now, for those of you that don't know, she's also a very accomplished watercolor painter. Look at what she's made, these greeting cards that she's made. She was making when she sent us a video last time. There she is waving to you. Look at all these cards that she has painted herself with watercolors. Miss Graham, very, very talented. She made all of those. Great job by sending those in. We appreciate seeing all of those. So who solved that mystery? Well, guess what? It was almost all fifth graders. In fact, I think it was all fifth graders. Sarive, right from Mrs. Graham and Mr. Cook's classroom, got that one correct. So did Kate Jansen. So did Nikhil. So did Lucy. All of them, fifth graders, all of them figured it out. Great job by all of them. Now, if we were in school and you were at school, I would have a prize for you. But because this is distance learning, gosh, I'd go broke if I sent a prize to everyone who solved that mystery right away. So congratulations to those of you that solved the mystery. Will you be able to solve this mystery staff member who's coming up next? This will be due on Wednesday. Here's your clue again. Once again, classroom on the second floor. That means second, third, fourth, or fifth grade. Favorite fast food is Subway. Oh, Lucas from earlier would have liked that. Lucas was enjoying a turkey sandwich. Favorite hobbies, go to sporting events. And in fact, this teacher absolutely loves, that's why it's in all caps, loves hockey. Favorite snacks include popcorn and grapes. And here's your big hint about this staff member. Knows more about hockey than any other staff member and has season tickets to the Portland Winterhawks. You'll see her quite often at Portland Winterhawks games. I wonder if she ever gets on the replay screen up above. I bet she does. And she's got jerseys and decorations in her classroom all about the Portland Winterhawks. Now, hopefully with the current situation, the Winterhawks will be able to play again inside the Coliseum and the Moda Center here very soon, just like the Trailblazers were hoping for. But there's your big hand. Who is that mystery staff member who has season tickets to the Portland Winterhawks, is a huge hockey fan. We're not going to tell you what that answer is right now. Of course, you can send that in to me right here at longc at nclac.k12.or.us. Can't wait to see what you come up with there. All right, as always, let's wrap today's show up with the joke of the day. Now, Olivia has sent in some jokes before. She always has some good ones. Our first grade friend, Olivia Hageman. Let's see what she turns in this time. Why wasn't the teddy bear hungry? Hmm. Why wasn't the teddy bear hungry, Olivia? That seems like a good question. Teddy bear hungry. I don't know. I'm stumped on that one. Why wasn't the teddy bear hungry? Aha, because it was already stuffed. That's right. It is stuffed. It's a stuffed animal. That would go for any kind of stuffed animal. Wouldn't be hungry because 
it was stuff. Great job, Olivia. Love the joke of the day. If you have a joke of the day, and we're starting to get more sent in, so I appreciate that. Always love hearing from you. You can email the joke to me, or you can send a video of you telling the joke to me right here to Mr. Long. You know what the address is by now. Long, see it in clack dot k12 dot o r dot u s all right let's wrap up today's show have a great day today thanks for tuning in to the morning messages as we start off the final week of october remember a big fundraiser tomorrow at five guys burgers and fries that's on tuesday then on friday it's crazy hair day and it's our assembly day so you know the different times you can come in to the assembly, either 12, 30, 1, 15, or two o'clock, depending on what grade you're in. Have a great day today with your distance learning as we start a brand new week, and we will see you right back here for the morning messages. Do you know who that mystery staff member is? Are you going to send in a video or a photo of you enjoying one of your favorite meals in honor of our fundraiser tomorrow? Can't wait to see those. Remember, you can always email me as well to stay connected. While we're not in school, we wish we were, but we'll do things this way from here on out. Have a great day today. Enjoy your distance learning time, and especially enjoy the nice weather outside after you're finished. We'll see you right back here on Wednesday morning.